Hey there, I'm Ed. Today we're going to test the compressor in a Frigidaire refrigerator that's not cooling and has a compressor that's not running. The compressor circulates the refrigerant throughout the refrigerator so that it can stay cool. Before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our do-it-yourself repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Let's get our tools together. Today we'll need a quarter inch nut driver and a multimeter. And please remember that safety comes first. Always remember to disconnect your refrigerator by unplugging it or switching the breaker off. The compressor is the heart and soul of your refrigerator. If the compressor isn't running, then the fridge won't be able to pump the refrigerant through the system. To test the compressor, you'll need to do a resistance test on the pens. To access the compressor and start device, you'll need to pull the refrigerator out and remove the four quarter inch screws that hold the lower cover on. Once you have the rear cover off, you can see the compressor on the right side. Then set your multimeter to resistance. Now we can remove the start device by undoing the metal clip holding it on and unplugging it. You need to go from the common pen to each of the other pens. Write down the numbers you get from these readings. Then, go across the run and start winding pens. You need to add the two numbers that came from the first reading together. It should match or come close to the reading across the run and start winding. You're also going to want to test the compressor to make sure it's not grounded. You can do this by setting your multimeter for continuity. Then go from each of the pins on the compressor to the chassis ground. If you get continuity on any of these pins, then the compressor is grounded and needs to be replaced. If you get 120 volts AC to the start device but the compressor failed testing, then the compressor would need to be replaced. Just remember, you can't replace the compressor yourself since it holds refrigerant. You'll have to contact an EPA certified technician to replace it. Now you can put the lower access cover back on, and once you insert the four quarter inch screws, you're done. Then plug your refrigerator back in and slide the refrigerator back into place. If your compressor is good, then you'll want to check out our other troubleshooting guides to find out what else might be preventing your refrigerator from cooling. We've got thousands of videos to help you diagnose and repair your appliances. If your compressor tested bad, then you can order a new one at AppliancePartsPros.com. But before you do, make sure to check with the service technician who will be replacing the part to make sure they'll be able to install the compressor you get. Before we go, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and thanks for joining us today.